Hi, my name is Alex with Apex Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the color of your epics. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you watch this video because this is actually kind of neat. This is a really, really helpful, maybe more a little bit OCD than anything else, but it will help you visualize. It'll help you send your focus to the right area. So if you're struggling to communicate with your team, if you're struggling to organize yourself when you're basically planning out your work, check this feature out because if you're not changing the colors of your epics, you might be missing out in a very small but subtle yet very effective way to help improve focus, communication, and just overall collaboration within you and your team members. So check this out. Let's jump into Jira and I'm gonna show you how to do this. But first, I need you to subscribe to the channel and if you get the value of this video, drop a thumbs up and a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. What are, And I really want to know, are you changing the colors of your epics or do you usually just leave the default color? Let me know in the comment section below. But now let's jump into Jira. All right. So in Jira, I'm going to basically go to a company managed software project and in the backlog, you're probably familiar with this view. If you've ever planned a sprint, I know for sure that you've used this view because this is usually where I live when I'm planning my sprints. And so if you've ever looked at your items here, you will see all your stores, your bugs, your tasks, they all show up in either the sprint or in the backlog. Now, if you're using epics, which I, I highly, highly recommend that you leverage the epics capabilities, then you may have noticed that there's a lot of purple in your screen. And that is because by default, whenever you create an epic, and I'm just going to go over here to my roadmap and I'm going to create an epic, right? And so let's see, I got spirits, which I didn't know how to spell correctly, apparently. So let's change the name of that. Um, so whenever I come in and create an epic and I'm going to put appetizer, appetizer, right? And I create a completely new epic, VT30. I come over to my backlog. And then I create a story. So I'm going to create, um, I like chicken wings. It's my favorite appetizer. And so I'm, when I come to the backlog, I'm going to find my chicken wings story. And you'll notice that I'm in this purple colored epic, right? And so this, all this purple can be not effective when it's just all purple. And, and you can start seeing the names, which helps, right? But just from a color coding perspective, it's, it's very overwhelming. We're looking at just the same color. And the epics in this view are usually hidden. So you actually might not even be able to see or, or even know that you can actually view the epics in this view. Because if you turn your head sideways here, you'll be able to see that we have an epics panel. Now, typically they're all kind of collapsed like this. And now you'll start to see this little purple little square here. And if you click on that little square, you can actually start changing the color of pretty much all your epics. And so I'm just going to leave these all, we're just going to go through each other different colors. And then you'll notice that nothing happens. So I need you to refresh your page and then Jira is going to start changing the colors. And as you can see, this becomes ever so slightly easier to look at. It's not a very big critical change and it's not going to completely change the world. It's not going to all of a sudden have you and your team be on time and on schedule and on budget, but this does at least help out with the color coding just so that again, just so that you're not just staring at the same color. You can, it, it just draws your attention ever so slightly. And so that you can focus on very specific items. Again, very, very nerdy, very unuseful feature, but one that I tend to enjoy. It just adds a little bit more personalization and Jira, as you can tell, is very white and blue. And I love that even though you don't get to add color everywhere, you just add a splash of color here. And it makes all the difference because now instead of being overwhelmed with just a bunch of purple epics, now I can see different colors. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a really, really quick one just to kind of show you how that, that you can do this by just going to the epics panel and then click on the little square and then changing to the color here. Now I do wish at last gen they had more colors to choose from. We're in an RGB world with millions and millions of colors combinations. So it'd be really, really cool because if you have, a dozen, maybe two dozen or three dozen epics, you start reusing a lot of colors. So Atlassian feature request, if you can add a little bit more color here, or maybe be able to add like a hex code or something, I think that would be really, really cool 
so that people can get really, really individualized with their epics. And if you made it this far in the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, hit that button. It doesn't hurt. It's all completely free. 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you got value out of the video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just want to say thanks for this video, let me know down below in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.